bless these words here, Father. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that you do. Uh, you taught me to plant the seed, and you plant the seed, and you, you would water it. Uh, and today I would, I would read, Father God, what the Bible said those who water will be watered, right? So I believe that you're being watered right now. I can't stop to fellowship with you, take my verse with you. Uh, I'm feeling led. I'm feeling led. And, uh, the Lord uh, teaches. Amen. Close that. I close the prayer. Get on with the, uh, the teaching that I believe that's on my heart right now. In 1982, I was baptized. And as I'm sitting down, and I'm going over all that, that transpired, not so much in what happened after the baptism, but what was going on there in the midst of the baptism. And I was put in the water by the reverend there, by the pastor there. And when I came out the water, what, how was things before I was put in the water? And how are, were, were things when I came out of the water? There is a scripture in the Bible I like to share that I experienced where it says the, um, the Holy Ghost, the Holy Spirit will wash our conscience clean. Probably what the Lord revealed to me is that my conscience was dirty. And when I was baptized, I'm on that baptism when I came up. I came up with a, a cleansed conscience. So much that I was able to look at the water and spirit see dirt cast in the water that I received was washed off of my conscience. That was washed off my conscience. At the same time, when we baptize, the Lord is teaching. He would share that we were given gift. We were given a gift. Each one of them was given a gift. It says that in the word of God. We can go in there and check it out. You can get in there and check out where he said all that. Now, let me share a bit of an awesome story. I believe that you would say that is awesome as well. I was in my high school years just making way through the high school hallway. Just came over from junior high school. And the school district that I went to school in collected some children to make way to the junior high classes to pretty much so inspire the youth there that pretty much so fell behind because the, the, the junior high school that I was assigned to at the, at the lunch time, I was given fifth period to get to the, the junior high campus and then sixth period is where my shift started. Um, these were pretty much children that fell behind and, and, and not so much of conduct, I, I suppose I can say, but fell behind just education, pretty much esteem, so to say. Maybe so conduct at the same time. But I would get to the the, um, the, the facilities, the, the, the college, uh, the college, with the, with the, the school that I was assigned to. And when I get to the office, I would sign my name. I would see that prescription. It was the experience I was working. It was yeah, 18. Yeah. And and, and um, I, I was receiving on a professional uh, level. But I would get to the office and sign my name, let them know that I was here. And then I would go to the library and wait for the children to be sent to me. Come from the come, um, come the classrooms that they was coming from, right? So now here's the story. When I would go into the office, when I went into the office this one time, I believe the Holy Spirit was ministering to me, and He was saying that I bring you into the teaching room now, right, to put um, your elbows on the counter of this room to put your elbows. On the counter of this rhythm. One more time. I bring you into the teaching rhythm now to put elbows on the counter of the teaching rhythm. And, th and then he showed me at the same time 52 states. He was about to do something with me and the teaching rhythm. Because again, it goes back to when I was baptized. Okay, what gift was I given? I was serious about this thing. But I want to get serious about these gifts that the Lord has given us. Right? Well, okay, what gift did the Lord give me? What gifts? Do I have? Okay, we know about the gifts that the Lord had, right? How I many believe the Lord walk, was walking in all those gifts? The Messiah was walking in all. The word of wisdom, the word of knowledge, the word of uh, the gift of teaching, the gift of healing, uh, the gift of discernment, the gift of tongues, right? The gift of faith, right? All the gifts that the word is talking about. I mean, believe that the Messiah was walking and all those. Okay, so getting back to us as we make a way 
at emulating the Lord. The Lord says, emulate me, for I am holy. Right? So now, we want to get serious about the thing, and we want to chase that out. If we haven't already, what gift was given to us from the Holy Spirit at our baptism for us who was baptized? So now, the Lord is giving me something to work with. He has on my spiritual death things. I believe he all has given us our spiritual death things. And our spiritual death. And we have our spiritual homework. Amen. We, we agree on that. So, in the midst and the means of my spiritual homework, I believe the Holy Ghost was prompting me to chase down. He was prompting me to chase down. He was prompting me to listen up. He was prompting me to get an understanding of what went down that day when I was baptized there in 1982. Starting on my way to where I'm at now with my Christian walk. With my walk after Christ, pursuing Christ, chasing the cross, emulating the Lord Jesus Christ himself. Experiencing the Holy Ghost bearing witness to the fact that I am a child of God. The word says that the Holy Ghost will bear witness that we are children of God. Amen. I'm in the office. I'm receiving that. The Holy Ghost says, okay, now I'm putting your, I'm taking this one room. Jesus took that one piece of bread and fair multiples. I believe he took that one school. As he was ministering to me, he was going to take that one school and that, that one experience of mine, that early experience of mine in the teaching with him, pretty much was going to break and feed multitudes, use it for a multitude mass, if I'm saying that right, in, in the, on the money, because he, I believe, cast the vision across the eyes, but I was able to see was, he was a teacher to stay things. Now, we go over and study the church. Let's just take up the prophet face, not so much the teaching, but right now, it's just prophet. And you're going to use it as an illustration. Okay, we have the in-home, right, prophet. We have the in-state prophet. And then we have, what, the national prophet, right? And then we have the global, right? So, in that one classroom, was it going to be just a one school thing? Was it going to be just a state thing? Was it going to be just international thing? Was it going to be a global thing? I believe at the time the Holy Ghost Minister is going to be a 52 state thing. I believe a 52 state thing is an international thing, a national thing. And which sets up right the other things that the Holy Ghost can do with that. Now I want to go off topic here, and it's not so much of uh, one boasting in himself, or me boasting in myself, come where the Holy Ghost is wanting to take me, where I believe in. Holy Ghost is wanting to take me and what I believe the Holy Ghost is wanting to do with me and what the Holy Ghost already has been doing with me, just sharing, I'm dealing with the prophet, bringing up the spirit of the prophet, right, amen, spirit of prophecy, spirit of the prophet, spirit of the prophecy of that fold, that ministry, hey, the Lord will teach you, if you get off into that deep study, when I give you, give you something, just in the prophetic means, the prophet, wherever the prophecy may be, the insight given, hey, you want to run it back. Just like I have given it. You don't want to candy coat it. You don't want to prep it up because it's a friend of yours. Man, you want to just give it how the Lord is giving you to give it. Amen. Been there? All right. All right, man. Okay, see, so moving along. I believe this is a very fascinating story. This story, whoa. I'm hoping it inspire you to get up and go pursue the gifts that the Lord has given you. You haven't pursued them already. Especially if you was baptized, the Lord has given you one. And see, I'm one who's been there because this is... Stuff along my journey that the Holy Ghost has been doing, feeding, and teaching. But I believe that I know it came a time in my life where I had to sit down and allow the Holy Ghost to remind me of things that He wants to talk. He says that in His Word that that's what He would do for us. That we would, He would sit us down and remind us. Okay, now let me don't put Him in the box. We could be standing, we could be in the car, we could be at uh, Great America having fun at the music party, whatever. But, but not now. I'm saying that, I'd say that right. Um, or wherever the means may be, right? Uh, but uh, simple and plain says I will bring back to memory those things that I once taught you, right? So off my experience, it's 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 it's. it's